would like to get more into like the art that I want to do, into and art that I'm. The... Hey, yeah, but it's time. Okay. Just like you had said, time returns. It's time for me to. Time is slipping away from me. Yeah. I do feel like time is slipping away. Time. You know? Yeah. Because I feel like. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Notes from Black Girls Podcast. It's Taylor checking in. And it's Tiana. And we're here with another episode, episode five. Episode five. Yes, Cinco No De Mayo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the name of this podcast episode is Erin Douglas Stepdaughters, the importance of highlighting black women's art. Okay, period. Love that. So let's we're talented. Oh, okay. turn me up. <laughs> so um let's get into who Aaron Douglas who he was. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a painter, illustrator, and a visual arts educator. We okay. love education. So, um, he is known for his famous art in the Harlem Renaissance, mm-hmm. and he basically set the foundation for the style of art that mm-hmm. was in the Harlem Renaissance. And shout out to that man. And then we just want to like put a disclaimer out that this is not to diss um, Aaron Douglas, but it's just like as black women, we always play the background. Yeah. Um. So, he was, like, in the forefront, um, but there was also, you know, other black women figures in the Harlem Renaissance. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, that's a little backdrop into why we chose the name of the podcast, a little mm-hmm. lesson. Just a little insight. Yeah, you know? a little insight, a little knowledge. So, let's get into the first question. How influential has black art been in your life? Um, I think it's been... I think it's been very impactful on my life. I think that I would consider myself an artistic person. Like, I love art. Um, I feel like I'm a collective art. I follow a lot of pages on Instagram, like, sitting around black art. Um, And I just, when I think about art and I think about its impact on my life, it's always been... It's always been um, something that I have enjoyed or looked for or looked towards. I remember being in elementary school and, you know, when you're asking you, like, what do you want to be when you're older? I always said an artist like that. Oh. If I could have if that if I could have my dream job, it would truly to be an artist because I love painting. I love creating art, digital art. Um, I've got a little bit into digital art. I would like to get more into it, but. Um, I just love art. I love creating things. I love, and I especially love depicting black culture. So, yeah. How about you? I feel like we need to snap on this podcast episode. Okay. Kind of like a spoken word vibe. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, for me, um, my family is very into the arts um, as far as, like, when it comes to music, mm-hmm. um, also digging more into like my family history. I had my grandpa's brother taught at Harvard. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. A family of just excellent. Yeah, we're into the arts. My sister plays the piano a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, my dad, um, he once was a rapper, I guess you can say. <laughs> um, so, like, we're very into music, I say, as far as art. Yeah. Um, my sister paints. Mm-hmm. Um, so, just, you know, different, I don't, what do you call it, the art diaspora? Mm-hmm. I don't really know what to call it. Um, we're all different in that way. I'm really into music. So, right. um never really Poetry thought a bit too. oh yeah i don't you know i didn't want to put myself out there like that yeah. but yeah i used to write poetry a lot um kind of slowed down on that but um just time restraints it, it really be eating me up yeah um but it's been very influential because when i think of certain songs i think of certain times in my life that were happy sometimes sad um but music really truly tells a story mm-hmm. and it really like gets you through the ups and downs, whether that's like, you know, my gospel music that gets me through the downs. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's how influential it's been in on my life. Like it really will get me through like mm-hmm. some of those like, you know, 
old gospel songs, like it really be taking me through there. It really do. And I think to add to that about like old gospel songs, I enjoy listening to those because for some reason like, I feel it's not for some reason I know why, but I feel connected to my ancestors. I feel connected to my culture because for so long, um, black people that's the only thing they had was their religion and their connection to God and their connection to music. And a lot of times we t- we talk about how the only joy that black people experience were on Sundays, mm-hmm. like where they were joy. able to like <laughs> joy. Yeah, yeah, type of joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> experience that type of joy on Sundays, and so mm-hmm. when I listen to older gospel, I just feel a connection to, um, to not only God but to the people that worship Him, and um, I just, I just love that. I just feel just strength. I feel resiliency. Oh, yeah. Like it's just a, it's a deeper. I feel like art, the arts in all aspects of it, you can connect to your history and oh, to you, sure. you know your heritage and I and that's what I like about art and you know our culture so and I like about art like you're never wrong like it yeah, just is like very freeing wrong. it's yeah. very therapeutic um before I get off on a tangent on that let's get into the next question mm-hmm. do you feel a certain amount of pressure whoa whoa <laughs> okay <laughs> let's try that again rewind do you feel a certain amount of pressure as a black creative? Um, I feel like I am harder on myself because I'm not creating art. And I see other mm, people. I'm going to stop you there. You do create art. Okay. All the content for the school you create is art. It is. Because I, I can't get in there and do that. And Okay. But I think I while I do enjoy that, I don't enjoy it as much because it's my work. I would really, and I've been saying it for months, um, that I really would like to get more into like the art that I want to do, into and art that I'm. The... Hey, yeah, but it's time. Okay. Just like you had said, time returns. It's time for me to. Time is slipping away from me. Yeah. I do feel like time is slipping away. Time, you know? yeah. Because I feel like it's so much art that I want to create. But because I, I don't know, I'm in just this period of like exhaustion. Like I'm, I'm, it's, I'm tired. And anyone that knows like creatives, you cannot create good art when, you're, when tired. you're tired. And I'm just constantly tired, like spiritually, mentally, physically, I'm tired. Um, I've burnt, I'm burned out. So like, I feel, I feel bad because I feel like I see the art pages. I see other uh especially black creatives like really investing in their art and making something bigger than they probably even initially tried to to get into um and i feel bad because it's like i'm not even at step one like it's still a lot of basic skills that i need to know so i do feel pressure when it comes to creating art um and making sure that my art looks i guess depicts what i'm what i wanted to depict what whatever i'm trying to create Oh, for sure. I'm it's not, pressure there. I'm not going to invalidate your feelings, but you're way further ahead than you think. I'll leave it oh, at that. Thank you, friend. Mm-hmm. Like, that was really, like, that really made me feel better. Like, that I'm really made me feel good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Like I don't know, like, I really, be serious. I don't feel like this is my genuine smile that I felt like they really make me happy. Like, I'm I really happy like, like, like that. Like you do make the art too. Like when I found out that you were a poet, like my whole friend is a poet. Like I'm gonna go around and be like, yeah, like if somebody asked me, like, do you know any poets? Like, yeah, for sure. Like my cause. Like, my friend. I would not be doing free poetry. <laughs> like not for like, but I can like I think that's so cool. Like you are a poet. Like you are Maya. All right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna answer the question so we can move on from this. <laughs> um, I do feel a certain amount of pressure to the point like my bad habit is when I feel overwhelmed, I just kind of shut down. Yeah. So, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you do that. I'm just saying that that's understandable. To do oh, that. okay. I was like, dang, like don't get on me now. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I just shut down. So that's why I be I'm inconsistent on my like 
page. And then, mm-hmm. like, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, don't tell my black girl is, like, really, like, not giving everything it's supposed to give right now. And it's because I'm burnt out, like you said. Like, yeah, I'm doing everything at work. And, oh, special announcement. I'm going to grad school, y'all. Oh, bow, bow, bow. Glow, glow, glow. Okay, don't start choking up. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's such a huge accomplishment. And I I hate it to be like that, but it's going to be even more pressure. Okay. You know, like, I'm not even like we're being realistic. We're honest here. We're honest here on this podcast. Oh, okay. My not bad. Saying, I don't think that you can't handle it. I know that you can handle it. Like, I know that you can handle it. But it's going to be a battle of trying to find all that balance, which I'm glad that we are approaching a break. So then you can kind of like, sort reset. That, you know, and like really find out what notes from a black girl is and how you can create that content. So then when your schedule gets a bit more hectic, then you can, um, you know, exactly. I know where I'm going. I know the direction I need to go into. Same for the one therapy. Yeah, that's very true. Um, definitely a lot more planning that's gonna go into effect in the summer. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a planning girl summer. Like I don't know if it's a hot girl summer for me. It's a planning girl summer. It's a hot girl summer for me. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have fun this summer. Like I really am. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know if it's a hot girl summer. Like I don't know. I'm just on a chill vibe right now. I guess I was a hot girl. That's a good episode. What is a hot girl song? I'm on a high right now. Like, oh, I'm okay. gypsy. Hey. Um, the girl is going through it. You just don't even make <laughs> She's going to get through that divorce. I believe in her. Like, she went through her mom tormenting her her whole life. She can get through a divorce. She's going to be okay. Mm, I believe in her. She is. Um, now, that's enough about that because I don't want to get into any legal matters with that. Um, what type of art? Mo- <laughs> Why would you look into the camera like that? Do you know something? I don't know. No, I don't. <laughs> what type of art motivates slash inspires you? <laughs> I think maybe you want to go. Do you want to? No, go? like I read that to you. Like, <laughs> inspire the people. What motivates me? Um, I don't know what motivates me. I guess creating something that isn't often highlighted in the black community so i guess the art that i like to create or the art that i center myself around whether it's music or um painting or digital art i like to highlight like the beauty that i see in black culture and so i think when i get in spaces of i want to say i call them like creative codes or and like a creative call is like where you're basically sit create in a creative space. So you can't create content because you're down, you're burned out, um, and you just don't have the eye that you normally have. And it's it's something that is like a short period of time. But um, for me, I always um, go and listen to black music. Like, mm-hmm. I love black music, but it's a certain type of black music that I have to listen to. It's like neo soul. So. Um, India Ari, Jill Sky, Music Soul Child, I'll go into those spaces and really like just just kind of basically lock in. And so that inspires mm. me to <laughs> that inspires me to create art or to kind of get over um the creative block that I'm experiencing at the time. Mm. So I think immersing myself in even more black culture it helps me to create more of what I'm into or what type of art that I like. Oh yeah. What about you? <laughs> that song was crazy. <laughs> um, lock in before you tweak out, I guess. Um, I think for me, it's kind of the same thing of like I'm a lover of words, so like kind of like inspirational things. Mm-hmm. Um and black culture is just inspires oh, words find me today. Black culture is just inspiring. It's just so much life and rejuvenation that comes out of, like, all the transformative stories. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, it's just, and I want people to, like, get out the mindset of, like, all of us get it out the mud. Like, like, not that type of transformative all the time. Like, I think that's the part of that is beautiful. But, I mean, like, also, like, um, just new, like, pioneer mindsets of, like, 
where people are trying to take things and like not just superficial levels of like thinking outside the box, eclectic things. All of that is very interesting to me. Like when Andre 3000 started playing flutes, like I know everybody was on there making memes about him. <laughs> but I love that for him because he's just like, I see a, like he's liberated through like just playing music and he doesn't have to answer to anybody. Like, I love that for him. Mm -hmm. I think that type of movement of, I don't have to answer to anybody but God. So um, just doing like my God-given purpose and just enjoying life, like that's a different level of peace. Like, yeah, I love that. Like, I love peace though. So. Yeah, you do. Um, You're very peaceful. So I try to be. Um. So that brings us to note taking time. Yeah, it's note taking time. No, um, I, I couldn't see. So we need a jingle for notes. Are you gonna time. like reach out to a producer for it or like? No, like we talking about being creative. Like, I'm just gonna create it. Oh my in, bad. <laughs> get in the studio and make some beats. <laughs> you didn't even believe that. <laughs> Let's leave that one alone. <laughs> um, so the first one is do not steal black art. Like, yeah, I feel like oftentimes, like, I mean, inventions were stolen from us. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's art. Inventions are art because yeah. you had to sit there and come up with the blueprint for that. Like, anyways, I'm not going to get into that, but our art has been stolen for so long. Yeah. So, like, please don't steal black art if you can. Like, I understand if you're inspired and then, like, you create something that's similar. But, mm -hmm. like, if you can, like, just be inspired and, like, yeah. don't take from it. I, I don't think like when important. other cultures take black art and kind of, like, turn it into their own. Ooh, that really got to you there. Um, I'm sorry. It's a pet peeve of mine. Like, because they of... take our whole culture and just be like, I don't know, yeah. like... I don't want to get into it right now, but they take our whole culture and just, it's really bad. Yeah, it kind of makes me think of like um, Beyonce transitioning into the country um, genre. And this ain't Texas. A lot of people are really angry at her. Why, girl? And I think that it shows that they, I, I think that black people oftentimes are boxed into this one category and they don't think. That we even have a right to step outside of that box. And one thing that I love about Beyonce is that she's highlighting other black country artists. Um, because country actually started from black people. Mm -hmm. It started from the work of blacks. And mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> we do not like the word black. Yes, blacks is um I meant to say. It's a little intense. Black Americans. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I don't normally say that. Um, I think it's the sleep deprivation, it is, baby. It is for it sure. Is. I told you I'm tired. <laughs> um, but um like country started from black Americans and um over the years it's been dominated by by white culture. And I love that Beyonce is like taking that back and um highlighting that hey no this is something that we started and that's something that we thrive in and that we can thrive in any genre um in any type of art and so i i love that i think that's another thing that motivates me is um just not going outside of the box for sure i feel like we had a deja vu moment like when it's back in the questions mm -hmm. um so you want to get into like the next yeah. no okay so no number two is do not be afraid to put your art out someone may relate to it so you never know you never know why god gave you the vision that he gave you because god because god only gives certain people certain things to create or to envision and so if god gave you that vision you baby, you need to execute that. The world needs to see it. Somebody needs to see it. For even sure. if, if even if it's one person, somebody needs to see it and somebody can get inspired by it. And so don't be afraid to just picture out your art out there and allow people to view the the creation that God has gave for you to share with the world. So yeah, and I'm speaking to myself. I'm speaking mm. to Taylor. Like, oh. we got to get our, our art 
out there because I feel like we're some black creatives. Like I feel like one day we could be like Issa Rae. Like, shout out Issa Rae. Shout, like imagine if she did not start her um YouTube series. We would not have Insecure. I would not have a favorite show. Oh. <laughs> I love Insecure. I don't know what I'm about to say. I will watch it over and over again. I love that for you. Yeah, you love it too. I do love Insecure, y'all. Like, don't get me wrong, but like I also recognize I might not love it as much as you. I like, know you that's don't. Your, that's your you favorite don't. show for real. Like you will rewatch, rewatch, rewatch. Like it's only certain things I can rewatch. I know you. I know it because my whole office at work is insecure theme. How do you make an insecure theme office? I think you might need to like take a picture of it because I think I you do. really want to share. I really do. <laughs> like I would like my dream is to like partner with you and to come up with <laughs> with like a a line of art. I mean, a line of office um, decor centered around insecure and like imagine it. Okay, I'm gonna say y'all all my stuff. Yeah, I was about to say you just giving them away. Like, <laughs> could I be mad if somebody? Yeah, when that drops like next month, you know someone was listening and took your idea. I think I will be sick. Like y'all have to. And like, we just said don't sell black art, and I'll be like, man, they wasn't even. I'll be like, they stole my art, y'all. But yeah, like the fact that God can give me. Like those visions of like he just gives me ideas and sometimes like I can just like talk about them and talk about them but it's I'm insecure like I don't know how to like I don't know how to put myself out there or I do know how to put myself out there but I'm scared and I, I think that's a human emotion but but we it's 2024 we gotta get over 2020 that. vision we twenty. I'm sorry, like that's where my brain went. Every time people say the year, like that's what I think of. Um, so the last one is you are black art. Um, I love that. <laughs> do it again. No, <laughs> they can yeah. respond if they want to do it. Yeah, black art. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be the cover right now. All righty. <laughs> wrap that up but more <laughs> of the story is that you are black art and you need to like realize 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 you need to recognize that you living and breathing like that's beautiful that is art like your story is art mm -hmm. and i think it's so important to not necessarily share it on social media but share it with others mm -hmm. um that are like-minded so you know, one of my favorite songs is You Are Black Gold by Esperanza Spaulding. Check it out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a reminder, like it's an affirmation song for me because um, you hold your head as high as you can. like Because you're black gold, like your ancestors like fought hard for you mm -hmm. to be here and fought hard for you to live out their wildest dreams. And I take that personal, I don't take that lightly. So shout out to them. Period. Yeah, and we and we're sitting pretty in our pajamas. Thank you, Harriet. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Claudette you. Colvin. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Michelle, you. Mm. Issa. Thank you, Nat Turner. I'm trying to think of Sojourner. Sojourner Truth. Mm -hmm. Shout out to you. Am I not a woman? Period. Maya Angelou. Love Maya. Tony Morrison. Mm -hmm. That's one of my goals this year is to get into black art. Art. Ooh. Black authors. Okay. To That's read. doable. Yeah. I would like to read. It was, it's already um, almost the second quarter of the year, so I've kind of missed um, the hey, first half. Hey. <laughs> but We're not going to go on the tangent on that. <laughs> We're going to. But I would like to read a black book every um every month so that's doable you can do it yeah hold me accountable friend okay so. all right um and we're gonna end <laughs> it here <laughs> guys um it's been real it's love you bye have a good week